I'll be your rock and roll Johnny if you be my junk card again. From Debbie's Designdiary.com, this is Serial DIY, one house repurposed week by week. This is episode 19, The Bumpy Paint Finish, and part two of how I opened my store in Solana Beach. We're gonna roll the paint up into a ball and we're gonna let it get all chunky. We're gonna use the palette knife. We're gonna give the plastic pumpkin texture like these pumpkins right here. I'm gonna tell you part two of last week's story, how I got my store after making over 100 phone calls to my landlord. We're gonna take this pumpkin right here, which is made out of plastic, and we're gonna use the clay paint. I got this one at my local nursery. These are real and this one is plastic. hollow pumpkin from the craft store and a bundt cake pan. Trace the circumference of the pan and cut the top off of the pumpkin. The pumpkin over and cut another hole about three inches in diameter if you plan to use your planter to fit around a patio umbrella. For, for three and a half years. If you watch last week's video before you watch this one, this part of the story is gonna make a lot more sense. During the entire time that I was waiting for the blue house, I lived on the other side of the highway, right by the beach, a few blocks away from this blue house that I was obsessed with. And I would drive by it every single day. It was just another beautiful day in Southern California and I was driving down Pacific Coast Highway again. It was the heart of summer and our town was filled with visitors and traffic came to a dead stop at the exact point where the back of the blue house faces the highway. At the exact moment I'm looking at the back of the blue house, the radio literally speaks to me and tells me that the blue house is mine. Hey, hey, this is your house. So it was a commercial on the radio for house insurance. I took it as another sign. We're gonna paint the pumpkin and we're gonna roll the, the paint up like little balls of clay and we're gonna stick it to the pumpkin. The commercial on the radio was a talking house telling its owner to buy insurance, but I took it as confirmation that the blue house was meant to be mine, so I continued to call the landlord every two weeks. I used mermaid tail and farm fresh as a base coat for the pumpkin, alternating between the two colors so that they will show through when the pumpkin is distressed. That same ex-boyfriend who I saw at the red light, well, he comes in and he tells me that he has another friend, and this friend has a much bigger space for rent on Highway 101. At this point, I'd been waiting for the blue house for three years. I was at the end of my rope. So I decided to check out this other rental. It wasn't the space of my dreams, but it was 1,200 square feet in a busy location just a few blocks away. Can you see how thick it is? It's like super thick. We're gonna take the clay and we're gonna stick it to the pumpkin. We're gonna create all kinds of texture and try and simulate this real pumpkin right here. Pour the paint onto a plate and let it sit out overnight so it thickens and begins to turn into clay. Then apply the chunky paint onto your surface with a putty knife or a spatula. Experiment with a variety of colors, adding the paint thicker and heavier in some areas to create texture. Then add a diluted layer of paint to cover over the entire surface, allow to dry, and then distress to reveal the color and texture underneath. These are old photographs of my mom. This is her driver's license, 1969. I don't know if you can see how pretty she was. This is her high school photo. And this is a picture of my mom standing in front of the store right after the grand opening. 
My mom and I started the store together. She's not with me anymore, but she left me with a lot of wisdom. She is the one who taught me to walk in faith. Her words and her wisdom are what stick with me today. When I told her about the rental on Highway 101, my mom told me she had a really strong feeling that if we were gonna rent that space, it had to be month to month and that we couldn't sign a year lease. When we sat down to sign the lease with the new landlord, he was not happy and he tried to sway us into a year contract, but my mom said she felt strongly that it should be month to month or not at all. So he reluctantly agreed and that October we moved with plans to be open by the holiday season. And see where this road will take us now. You just put the rag in some water like this and then you just wring out the excess. We're going to seal it with the big top and then we're going to use dark wax to bring out all of the detail. The darker wax will sit down in all the crevices and all the grooves. The clear wax works like an eraser. I'm your dark dress savior, I'm your undertaker, I'm your prison shaker, I'm your favorite. After the paint dries, distress it to reveal the color and texture using sandpaper and a damp cloth. Then apply Big Top to seal the finish and make the color pop. After the Big Top has dried, apply dark wax to highlight the grooves and the low spots of your finish. So we're getting ready for our grand opening. We got all the permits, everything is looking good. And my mom says that she wants to go take the keys back to our old landlord. She leaves to go do that. She comes back a few moments later. She walks in and she's got this, she's got this look on her face. And I'm like, what? My mom looks at me and she tells me that when she went to go return the keys, our old landlord said that the guy with the blue house had come by and he was looking for me. He had decided to finally rent it to me. When the landlord heard this, he told the guy that we had already moved on and that he wanted to rent it. I, 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 I had no response. I just looked at my mom and I said, I've got to take a drive. And I, I didn't know what to do. I just got in my car and I just, I started driving around the neighborhood. I'm just driving around and it's like something that's just completely unreal. It was too devastating to even be true. I'm praying and I'm driving and I'm asking God like, what is this, some kind of cruel joke? And you're gonna have to wait until next week to hear the rest of the story. The last step is to add soil and a variety of plants and flowers to your planter and then thread your planter through the pole of your umbrella. Trying to get it so you can see the pumpkin because it's, I can't move it. It's around, I put it around the umbrella pole. I can't really, I can lift it up, but it's it's stuck to the, it's, there's the umbrella. Can you see the umbrella? So this is it. I think it turned out really good. Let me know in the comments if you have ever created a bumpy texture with paint. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm sharing part three of how I finally moved my store into the blue house and find out about our special invitation to our 20 year celebration. Come paint, create, and find the perfect gift for the special people on your list this year. We're open Wednesday through Saturday at 315 South Cedros in the heart of the Cedros Design District. And we have ongoing classes every week. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell DIY paint in your store, click the link below and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching.